The NBA season tips off tonight. So does week nine of college football. Got you covered with five free winners here on Tuesday. Record-wise, it's now a 156, 133, and 10 run here on the Power Five. Played catch up on all our results from the weekend on the special Champions League edition of the Power Five, which you can catch right here on Wager Talk TV. Got you covered with the top soccer plays for Tuesday and Wednesday. But let's focus on Tuesday, college football in the NBA right now. As a reminder, at any time, you can comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Smash that like button if you're in agreement. Here we go. Number one, I'll be giving you two plays on Sam Houston, Florida International. First, I like the dog getting five and a half. It's down from the opening number of seven. Looks to be sharp money on FIU. I made the number plus five to begin with, so now in line with the market. The big story here is the status of Sam Houston quarterback Hunter Watson. He left last week's game versus Western Kentucky with an injury. Listed as questionable for tonight. Sam Houston lost that game to Western Kentucky, 31-14, failing in its first attempt to become bowl eligible in just its second year as a FBS program. Now, FIU's quarterback, Keon Jenkins, he also got hurt last week in a loss. Panthers lose outright as seven-point favorites to UTEP, a game where they turned the ball over four times. But Jenkins is definitely going to suit up tonight as FIU plays its first home game in October. I think that means a little something at Pitbull Stadium, remember? Uh... I think it's going to be a low-scoring affair as well. More on that in just a second. So, again, I want to take the points here with Sam Houston FIU. I also want to take the under 46.5 in this game. Looking at the weather forecast, wind's probably going to be a factor. So look for these two offenses, both of which are dealing with potential injuries at quarterback, to run the ball a lot in this one. The good news for FIU, they've got two backs who had over 50 carries uh, so far and over 200 rush yards, while the Panthers... Uh, our averaging is 4.9 yards per play in Conference USA action. Sam Houston isn't much better. So it's under 46.5 and and FIU plus 5.5 for the first college football game on Tuesday. How about UTEP Louisiana Tech? Very ugly matchup here, as they all are in Conference USA. But I'll take the under 50 as my third play for today on the Power 5. UTEP's offense really struggles to finish drives. Shouldn't find much success running the ball here against the Louisiana Tech defense that's surprisingly top 20 in the country in terms of yards per play allowed. Wow, wouldn't have guessed that, but it is true. Now, the Miners of UTEP did just shockingly hang 30 last week in what was their first win of the season over FIU. But prior to that, they hadn't scored more than 21 against any FBS opponent this season. Let's also remember what I just mentioned earlier. Those FIU turnovers four of them, were heavily responsible for UTEP scoring 30 last week. Two touchdown drives of 42 yards or less for the Miners. Two field goal drives of 22 yards or less. So let's hope Louisiana Tech protects the football a little better than FIU did last week. Now you may recall me fading the Bulldogs last week as 12-point road favorites at New Mexico State. They ended up losing that game outright 33-30 in double overtime. It was just 24-24 at the end of regulation, though. So a somewhat misleading number of points scored in that contest. I don't like either of these offenses. UTEP can't really pass. Louisiana Tech's gone over 24 in regulation against just one FBS opponent all season. So under 50 it is. Guys, if you're looking for more college football, Boy, have you come to the right place. As you know, I am number one in college football this season at wagertalk.com. I've won 12 of my last 14 CFP releases. And because it's Tuesday, you can get a 4% best bet for this weekend for only $5. Just head over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. That offer expires at midnight Pacific time. So do not delay. Each of the last two weeks, I've won big with my $5 special. Two weeks ago, it was Iowa minus 2.5, smashing Washington 40-16. to Last week was a wire-to-wire cash with Oklahoma State, plus 10 against BYU. All right, let's talk some NBA before we get to a play for tonight. Let me give out a season win total. We're going to have to wait until April to add this to the show record, obviously. But I like the Phoenix Suns, over 47 and a half wins. First off, I like the vast majority of the top teams in the West to regress a little bit from last year, at least in terms of wins. That includes OKC, Minnesota, Denver, And Dallas, I don't see any of those four winning as many games as they did last season. So that opens the door for someone to step up. And I believe that will be the Suns, who have their core of Durant, Booker, and Beal. They did not really have a true point guard last season, but now have added Tyus Jones to the mix. Always a good assist-to-turnover ratio from Jones. Keep in mind, the Suns posted a 23-12 straight-up record, a 65% win percentage, with its intended starting five last season. So better health 
would be huge. And so is Mike Budenholzer now coming in as the head coach. That's going to mean more three-point attempts for the Suns. If the preseason was any indication, the Suns are buying into their new coach's philosophy. Guys, the Suns won 49 games last year. I don't think they're going to win less in 2024-2025. Over 47 and a half for their season win total. All right, for opening night, let's round it out with this. T-Wolves money line at the Lakers. It should be around minus 115. Look, I know Carl Anthony Towns no longer around for Minnesota, but this team's definitely better still than the Lakers, who needed a lot of LeBron James and a lot of Anthony Davis last season just to get the 47 wins and a first-round playoff exit. It was the most minutes played by James in a season since his time here in Cleveland. Davis ended up playing a career-high 76 games. Both also played in the Olympics this summer. Now, much of what I just ran through there is a case for betting the Lakers under their season win total as well. But for tonight, let's talk about the fact the Lakers have dropped seven consecutive season openers, straight up and ATS, the last six all coming with LeBron. Furthermore, as an underdog in season openers, James is 0-7 straight up lifetime and 2-5 and ATS. That includes 0-3 straight up and ATS here in L.A., where he's failed to cover by about 6.7 points per game. Minnesota may not have Towns, but they still got Anthony Edwards. Solid defensive team, and I like the pieces acquired in the Towns trade uh, that will be surrounding Edwards. Meanwhile, didn't really like that draft pick of Bronny James for the Lakers. Let's go ahead now and recap the Power 5 for Tuesday. Number one, FIU plus 5.5 versus Sam Houston. Number two, Sam Houston, FIU under 46.5. Number three, UTEP, Louisiana Tech, under 50. Number four, Phoenix Suns, over 47 and a half wins. And number five, T-Wolves, money line, minus 115 at the Lakers. Again, comment down below with your thoughts and questions. Let me know what you are betting on here on Tuesday. I'm on a 12-2 and run in college football. One more time, I'm going to go through this. Number one for the season in college football at Wager Talk. You can get a winner for this weekend right now. In college, for just $5 at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Again, that deal lasts until midnight Pacific time. Do not delay. Now, if you want to lock in long-term, got some great news as well. You can get on board for the most action-packed month of the year for just over $8 per day. Just $249 for a 30-day all-access. This deal start has, are, are now available. It went live 8 p.m. Eastern last night. So, again, wt.buzz slash bp is where you go to take advantage You'll get every single selection for the next month. That's soccer, MLB, NBA, college hoops, the NFL, college football. Again, just over $8 per day. On that note, that does it for the Power 5. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. And until next time, let's cash some tickets.